Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, so we're back with the dog. All right, so obviously it's changed a lot since you last saw it. Um, I think last time we were just at the point where we put it down on the ground to test it out and well, just watch this clip and you can see how it goes. All right. I wanted to upgrade all the servos. Um, it was pretty clear that those other ones weren't powerful enough, but these ones, these should easily handle it. I've seen people make dogs with uh, weaker servos than these and they haven't geared them down and they seem okay still. Right, so if you noticed before, on the first leg there was a spring on it which could give it some sort of compliance, okay? So with this one I redesigned it so that the spring is actually in the knee joint. So the spring goes in like that, and then it's got this piece here, which as it can turn, it can also press against the spring, just to allow a bit more movement. But when I was testing it, I, I'd set it all up. I set it all up with the new legs, all those springs, and they, they didn't seem balanced very well. And they're a little bit too soft, and there's no way of adjusting them. I mean, trying to find a spring the same size as that, with say, I don't know, twice as much strength. It's going to be pretty tricky. <clears throat> so for now, I've decided to get rid of these bits. I've got rid of all the bearings, I've got rid of the bolt, and then now all we do to hold it on is just have this piece here. So if we put that on like that, you can see, you can see how it holds it. So this bit here, that goes in there like that. And then this bit just clips on top. And then it's held in place by these two bolts here. So one in there, one in there. And then the servo goes in here. And then I'm sure you can work out how that works. And obviously the gear drives on there. So you can see a little bit better on these ones. These are the assembled ones. So for these, there used to be a bolt going through as well. And there was two bearings inside and a load of washers. So I've worked it out, the weight saving with just taking the spring out and this little mechanism, it's 50 grams on each leg. So that's a good 200 grams worth of saving. So let's put it into perspective. That's all of these parts here that I didn't, I didn't actually need. So that's quite good. All right, so yeah, I've just got to reassemble this leg, um, put it back on, and then we should be good for some more testing. So what was happening before, what I did, I just put screws in these just to sort of lock them in place, just to cancel out having the spring. So, yeah, they were still they were still slipping every now and again. Like the gears weren't really tight enough. So, <clears throat> with a little bit of redesign of the mechanism, that's improved. Okay, so just have a quick look at the top. Right, so I've relocated the switch. That's quite important because it was in a stupid place. It was like here before, and the leg would get in the way. Um, what else have we done? Uh, we tidied up the wires a little bit. Instead of having a power connector from the bottom, that comes up, well, yeah, that comes up inside now. Um, yeah, I printed off a new back piece. I need to stick the magnets on here, and then that should hold in place. Oh, yeah. And then I've also got this top bit as well. So it's just like a little track, just so I can move it around. Um, when I want to test out some walking, I can just lower this top bar down so the feet are in contact with the ground. And then obviously I can adjust the height to allow more or less weight supported by the legs. 